before we get into today's video, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, I have a bit of a baby face going on right now. I tried shaving my face yesterday while I was shaving my head and I made an irreversible mistake on my face that required me to shave all of it. Yes, go ahead and get your laughs in now. I hate the way I look and I also hate how it makes my double chin look even worse than it really does. But anyways, on to today's video topic. Earlier today, without warning, Disney World released the reservations for their annual pass holder preview taking place next week on July 9th and July 10th when the parks are supposed to open to the general public on July 11th and July 15th respectively. Now, that's all good and dandy, but the problem is is that Disney released them without warning. With every other reservation release that they had, we had plenty of warning ahead of time. Disney gave us the exact date and the exact time of when these reservations would go live. Now, when Disney mentions that there would be an annual pass holder preview, they did clearly state that these reservations will be first come, first serve, as they have always been. Now, the problem is, is that, again, they didn't let anybody know exactly when or where this was going to happen. Now, I was fortunate enough to grab a uh, annual pass holder preview reservation, but only because I was lucky. And supposedly, Disney was supposed to send out emails, or they were sending out emails, but... Of course, with Disney, they never send anything out all at the same time. They've been slowly rolling out the emails, and from what I saw, a lot of annual pass holders did not get the email until it was already too late. The reservations went live at 11 a.m. Eastern Time today for the annual pass holder preview, and they sold out in less than 45 minutes. And a lot of annual pass holders did not even receive their email until after 12 o'clock in the afternoon. That's not good. I'm a part of a lot of annual pass holder Facebook groups and there were so many, oh my God, so many upset people who were not able to get a reservation, who had zero chance of getting into the annual pass holder preview, which is very unfortunate. It's very unfortunate because there are other annual pass holders like me who are a silver who were very dependent on this annual pass holder preview to get into the parks a little bit early and not have to wait until flipping August before we would be able to get inside the park. And this reservation system was open for everybody. Literally any kind of annual pass except the Epcot after four, you were able to get a reservation. You were eligible. So I was doing work from home like I always do every single day. And I was in the middle of saving something. And when I save something, I take a minute to scroll through Twitter and Facebook or whatever. And I had seen that someone made a reservation. Someone posted in the annual pass holder Facebook group that they made a reservation successfully. So I was like, what the heck? What, what is going on? I haven't received an email. I've been leaving my main email on my phone so that I would get notifications when anything came through. Nothing came through. So I had to go through an alternate Disney Park Media website in order to get the link. And thankfully, I was able to snag a reservation for both Coda and I. And we are going to the Magic Kingdom on July 9th, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm very happy that I'm able to go. I'm very happy that I had this opportunity. But afterwards, uh, it was, it, it, it filled up. It filled up not even 10 minutes later. Right after I made the reservation, I was in complete shock and I was stressing out over it. I had it pulled up on my phone first and it put me in a waiting list. So I put my phone down and I went on my desktop computer and I logged in over there and that immediately put me through and I was able to make a reservation for July 9th, which was absolutely fantastic. After I made my reservation, my phone was still in a waiting room. So that's a bit of a problem. There were people who were saying that they were in a waiting room for quite a while before they got through and when they finally got through, Everything was gone. Everything was gone and they weren't able to make a reservation, which is really, really unfortunate. I was in the middle of making a video earlier. I was going to post a quick video update earlier saying, you know, letting you guys know, hey, the annual pass holder uh, preview reservations are live. Go now and make a reservation because on the Disney website, it said that the registration period would be available until about 24 hours prior to the event start. So... 
you would have that much time to register. Without warning, Walt Disney World has opened up registration for the annual pass holder previews for next week, July 9th and July 10th. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below. They are sending out emails, but I found out on Twitter that registration was open, so I quickly registered and I got on there. But I wanted to get this video out to you guys as quickly as possible so that you guys, in case you didn't get the email, can register really quick for those dates. So registration is gonna remain open until it reaches capacity or at least 24 hours before the event actually starts on July 9th. So down in the description below, go and register guys if you are an annual pass holder and you want to go before uh, the official reopening on July 11th. Oh God. <laughs> in 45 minutes, less than 45 minutes, they were all filled up. I was in the middle of editing that video that was not even a minute and a half long when Coda from the other room said, hey, they're full. And I was like, You've got to be kidding me. I was trying to do my part and help you guys out because I've been getting a lot of comments on my videos. Hey, do you know when the annual pass holder preview registration is? Do you know when, when the registration is going to be? I had no idea. Disney made no announcement. And yeah, <laughs> we, had, we had today's situation where a lot of people were pretty upset. Now, I mean, what I saw on the annual pass holder Facebook groups made me sad, but at the same time, you have a lot of entitled Karens out there. Oh my God. Now, I'll play devil's advocate here. If Disney, Disney should, in my opinion, have done a specific annual pass holder preview for maybe the Platinums or the Platinum Plus annual pass holders because they are the highest tier uh, pass holder group and maybe they should have included DVC in that one as well because they pay a lot of money for their annual passes. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie about that. They pay a lot of money for their annual passes. So I do agree that maybe they should have gotten their own specific day and not have been grouped up with literally everyone else in the pass holder category and fight for a day in the parks early before they reopened. Now I will also say that Disney did not necessarily have to give us a day uh, to ourselves before the parks opens. But by no means did they have to give us an annual pass holder preview, but they did. They were nice enough to nice enough to give us a preview, and I really appreciate that. And I really appreciate the opportunity to be able to go over there with hopefully lower crowds than we would see on a normal day to kind of give the cast members a bit of a feeling for what they can expect when the parks reopen to the general public uh, the following the following couple days. So I really want to hear from you guys uh, down below in the comments section. Were you guys able to get a reservation? What pass holder tier are you? Are you a silver, gold, platinum, platinum plus, whatever you have? Let me know down in the comment section below what pass holder group you are and were you able to get a reservation and for what day and for what park? Because for today, you were able to get a reservation for either Magic Kingdom or Animal Kingdom and those both filled up very, very quickly. So I'm very curious to see what you guys have to say down in the comment section below. What do you guys think? Um, should Disney have opened up annual pass holder reservations in their own group for platinum and platinum pluses and DVC, should they have had their own day? Or do you think that it's fair what they did for just everybody to go in first come first serve? I mean, we've been seeing a lot of things online about how the system needs to change and how it's not really fair that Disney didn't, for one, give anybody advanced warning of when it was gonna happen because there were a lot of people who were at work. They dropped this at 11 o'clock. A lot of people are going back to work. A lot of people were at work or a lot of people were probably doing other things. If Disney had put it out ahead of time, maybe 24 hours ahead, said, hey, this is when the reservations are gonna go live, then a lot more people would have probably tried to get an annual, an annual pass holder preview slot, and they weren't able to. A lot of people were really upset, so. I mean, I kind of understand it, because if you don't announce it ahead of time, you know, it kind of makes it easier for the servers to to deal with the internet traffic, but oh my god, once it once it came out that the annual pass holder preview registrations were alive, the internet just lost their minds, and it was just an absolute free for all for any and all annual pass holders, so. I don't know, let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Was Disney in the right? Was Disney in the wrong? Were you able to get an annual pass holder preview registration slot? Uh, just let me know down in the comments section below. And don't get used to this baby face. It's it, it's not gonna be here. You can already see I'm starting to grow back out. This incident happens, what, yesterday, I think? So yeah, it's already gonna grow back out. So yeah, you can expect to see us back at Walt Disney World on July 9th. I'm super excited to see, to see what is going on over there. I'm super excited to go back out and make videos at Walt Disney World. We are gonna be going back to Universal Studios this Thursday, July 2nd. 
we're going to be going back out there because of their garage sale that is going on. I'm super excited to see that and to get some cool Universal Studios merchandise for dirt cheap. Um, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Thank you guys for hanging out and sticking around with the channel. We got a lot more content coming at you very, very soon that I'm super excited for. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new around here. Ring that bell to notify whenever I upload a new video like this in the future. I hope you are all having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, and evening, and I'll see you guys in the next video.